All right, guys, so I have outlined and filled in a bunch of my stuff. Um, before you start using any painting techniques, you need to make sure that you are, um, that you have painted in everything. Um, obviously, I should not be starting to use any painting techniques yet because I don't have everything painted in, but just so that you guys get an idea of what we're doing. Okay, so overpainting is when you're painting over something that's already d really dry. So I'm going to paint over, and I'm also going to use like a dabbing technique for it. So I'm going to just kind of go down the edge of this tower. It's got kind of a goal. So my paintbrush has a lot of water in it, so I'm going to get some of that water out. And I'm just kind of poking my paper. I'm dabbing it. Okay. I know I showed you guys dabbing using the paper towel. That's actually blotting. I was wrong. Dabbing is when you just kind of boop in the paper. Okay. Um, so that's all of that. All right. Um, so that's some basic overpainting. It's so pretty much whenever you're adding a painting technique over something else, it's overpainting. Um, before applying any painting techniques, it's really important to make sure that everything is dry. If you notice my paper... This part right here, these two top pieces, are not dry, but this back here is. I also want to show you that I decided, even though these are the two are the same color in real life, that this one was darker because it's farther away, and this one is lighter because it's closer up. So I'm going to keep doing some more painting techniques, looking at my picture. Okay, so I'm going to do some blending up here. So there is white. In this so I am gonna paint my white Went straight down the middle and it kind of gets bigger on the edges and notice that because my paint isn't dry they're starting to mix and that's totally okay so I actually want my paint to mix but if you don't want your paint to mix obviously wait until it's all totally dry before moving forward all right and then as it gets closer to those edges, it's going to get skinnier because I can see less of it. But it'll be kind of fat at the bottom. Get over here. And fat at the bottom. Okay. So when I want to blend colors together, um, I'm going to do a darker color where it's darker and a lighter color where the light's hitting it. So for me... I'm going to use a darker color at the bottom and then a lighter color on in the middle and a darker color at the top because the sunlight's coming from this direction. So, again, too much water on my paintbrush. It's a little bit darker up here, too. And notice I'm having some issues because it's not totally dry. So I might actually come back to that. So let's let that dry for a second. Um, that's actually not showing up well on the camera. That's not all white. That's actually just the water reflecting. It'll be better once it's dry. Okay. Um, so, yes, let's let it dry and then come back.